and welcome back to our Hape Quadrilla class. Today we are going to take on the expert level challenge number 21. Now this is going to be a little difficult. In this challenge there are two entrances but only one exit. So we must launch the marbles from those two entrances but change their arrival order. Do you think you can do it? Come on, let's give it a try! First of all, let's look at the challenge card and find the corresponding blocks. Here is our challenge card and what we need for this one is a red seesaw block, one yellow block and one orange block, three blue blocks, two green and two turquoise blocks, as well as two natural blocks and make sure you have two marble launchers because we're going to have uh, two entrances and marble collector and of course four rails. Here is our build. Now according to the challenge card we need to launch the two groups of marbles at the same time and change their arrival sequences. Here we go. By looking at the card, we can see that the sequence of the first group of marbles is red and blue and that the second marble is green. However, the order of marbles when they leave the structure needs to be completely different. Now, let's look at the first group and try to imagine a possible route. When we launch the red marble, it will roll out from the right side of the green block and then hit the first secret block. So in this instance, this secret block needs at least one path that will connect the left and the right. Besides this, according to the challenge card, we can see that the first secret block is also the first block that the green marble encounters, which means that it also needs to have an exit below to allow the green marble to roll out successfully. How about the turquoise block? We can see that it has one side entrance but no bottom exit. Nah, that's not going to work. How about the green block? This one has a path that marbles can roll into from the side and exit from the bottom. But there is no straight path at the top. Hmm, negative again. Don't forget that we also have natural blocks. Natural blocks have a side entrance and one straight path that connects the top and the bottom. Now let's use that in place of the first secret block. Here comes the red marble. Now let's continue our analysis. After pathing through the first secret block, the red marble falls into the second secret block. However, according to the challenge card, we know that the arrival sequence of the red marble has changed. Well, does anyone remember which pieces can change the marble sequence? That's right, it's the seesaw block. Since we've already used the red seesaw block, let's try the blue one now. Here it is. I'll change the secret block. Uh -huh. Remember to use the accelerators to control the pace. Mm -hmm. Here we go. But now we have a small problem. Let's think about the setting of the blue seesaw. Which number should be set higher and which number should be set lower? Let's try setting the number zero to the higher position first. Hop. Now let's launch. Three, two, one, go! Let's see how it works out. Aha! We have arrival sequence of green, red and blue. Hmm. We find out that the arrival sequence of the marbles is not the same as on the challenge card, which means that the setting of the blue seesaw is not correct. So let's reset the blue seesaw and try it again. We will have number one in the upper position now. The marbles, we have green, red and blue. And the seesaw block settings are already correct. Let's try. 
So the arrival sequence is blue, green and red and it's exactly what we were looking for. So we did it. And the answer is for the second secret block, the blue seesaw block, when number zero is positioned at the bottom while number one is on the top. Let's review the setting and logic of the seesaw blocks. Remember, the guiding principle of the seesaw blocks is that no matter which number is positioned higher, the marbles will roll out from that number. According to the challenge card, the red marble and the green marble should be lodged at the same time. Therefore, there are two possibilities regarding the blue seesaw. One is that number zero is positioned on the top and the number one at the bottom. And the other is the direct opposite of that scenario. As for the first possibility in which zero is positioned higher, when launching the marbles together, the green marble rolls out from the number zero exit of the blue seesaw and into the blue block directly, skipping two levels of tracks. In this way, the marble becomes the first to arrive. However, according to the requirements of the challenge card, the green marble should be the second one to reach the final. So this first option is not workable for us. Now let's look at the second option. If number one is positioned higher, the green marble rolls out from the one and into the red seesaw block, passing through the second floor and rolling out of the yellow block. In this case, the green marble goes a longer way and the arrival sequence is altered. At first, this challenge seemed really hard for us, but through our careful analysis, we finally completed the level and won the game. In the next class, we will upgrade to the master level. Let's do it together. And don't forget to upload your excellent creations and structures to the Quadrilla app. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!